Do join in the conversation via Twitter using the hashtag CreateNow and let us know what you think so far. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I dropped into the Hasselblad Shoot London event to seek out some Creative Cloud tips and digital imaging inspiration from photographer Kyle Taylor. I'm here at the Old Truman Brewery in London and I'm joined by photographer Carl Taylor. Carl, thank you so much for taking time out to chat with us. Pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit about the Hasselblad Shoot London event and what you're doing here? Um, absolutely. Um, basically, it's a professional workshop studio environment for pro photographers to come along, see the latest equipment, learn the latest techniques. Several pro photographers, myself included, will be demonstrating lighting techniques. Um, Adobe are here as well, demonstrating techniques as well. Yep. So it's basically a workshop for pro photographers right in the heart of London. It's an annual event. It's got to be a dream thing to come to as a photographer, I imagine. Oh, it is. And it, it gets very busy. A lot of photographers uh, turn up, all, all levels actually, but it is aimed more at professional photographers. Yeah. And they get some fantastic tips, for, uh, fantastic tutorials, and it's all completely free. Are you running workshops here as well as presenting them? Absolutely. We've got a live show each day where, called Smash and Splash where we're doing these spectacular uh, images where we're crashing whiskey glasses together with exploding liquids, balloons Fantastic. filled with paint exploding, and then we're doing some impromptu fashion workshops here as well. Fantastic. I'd love to see some of your work. Would you share some of the images with us, talk us through some of the projects you work on, and maybe give us some tips as to how you captured those images? Yeah, absolutely. Love to. This image is one from Iceland, and my style is often described as being simple but striking. I try not to make my images too fussy. I prefer very much more just a simple amount of dynamic, uh, an uncluttered background, or a background that juxtaposes the subject really well. So in this example, the technique I've applied is to underexpose the ambient scene, underexpose the daylight, yeah. and then just flashlight the model who's in these colorful, bright fashion clothes yeah. to bring her out and separate her from the background. It gives this kind of surreal element to it, doesn't it? It does, but absolutely. And I, I love that uh, surreal element in these type of shots. So again, uh, simple but striking. I mean, there is complexity in it as well because obviously we've got all the scene and the waterfall. But again, I try to not overcomplicate the image. It's just this feeling of spectacular juxtaposed with this unusual situation of a model, high fashion, stood in this unusual location. When you're putting compositions like that together, are you kind of consciously thinking about the thirds ratios and you know setting it up like that, or is it just a feeling and a sense that you have after? Doing this there, there are certain rules that you, you should follow. I, I guess for me it is more of a feeling in a sense knowing you know after 25 years in the business you, you kind of get a feeling for yeah. what works and what doesn't. What I, I do um, say is that most of the images that we shoot on location, especially in fashion, they're pre-visualized. Yeah. I work them out, I'll recce the scene, I'll yeah. sketch the image and before we even arrive with the model I kind of got a good idea what I'm about to shoot. Sure. Um, so this one's a studio image that we shot recently and again you see that it's very simple I often use just these very soft graduated dark grey backgrounds just a hint of graduation on the background from a light there yeah. and then striking lighting on the model and then it's down to the makeup the styling hairstylist uh, and my job is just to capture the model's pose and light it as best I can I'm very focused on getting my lighting as, as best as possible obviously an image like this has to have skin retouching has to use Photoshop and that plays a part in, in my work but again I like that simplicity in my imagery just so that there's not too much to distract you there's one thing to focus on and if that one thing is striking then I'm happy. Yeah. 
So you mentioned Photoshop and that's something that's always in the news when it comes to retouching. Um, can you talk about the sort of level as to which you're happy retouching and maybe show us some examples of the sure. sorts of things you do? Yeah, I think um, retouching sometimes does get a bad name because sometimes it is taken to extreme and maybe it's used for the wrong reasons. I'd say with my retouching work, it's more about enhancing an image. It's more about adjusting an image to get the lighting a little bit more perfect yeah. and, and, and just finally polish the image to, uh, in those last stages. More, more about if you could have got the makeup how you wanted it and the lighting how you'd wanted it in the camera it's just kind of getting it to that yeah final exactly stage. it's just those final finishing tweaks yeah. to to the image I and mean, if we take this one as an example I've got the finished retouch one here and I've got the original image below and if we just flick between the two you can see that there's a minimal amount of retouching if we go in closer you'll see that we had some strays of uh, strands of hair going across the face that were unavoidable because we had a wind machine running on the model so those those were then retouched out you can see here and there's a little bit of burn and dodge work taken on the on the hair to brighten up some of the hair yeah. then the next stage of retouching was retouching the skin on the face mm -hmm. and then the final stage was retouching the arms a little bit and dodging up the actual main image but overall if we take that image and compare it to the actual original if we knock those two layers off take it back it's enhancement rather than massive it's retouching. It's still her, isn't it? It is still her. <laughs> yeah. I, and I, that's what I like with my imagery, is not to take it too far, yeah. is to uh, you know, a, achieve what I can in camera and with lighting, and then use Photoshop for those key final polishing stages. Yeah, great. You've got an extreme version, haven't you? I have. Um, I have got one of more extreme. For a tutorial. Yes. Can we just take a quick look at that? So yeah. this is kind of, this is what's possible, but not what you generally it's do. It's not what I generally do. We actually put this together as an example of what can be done in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So this is more extreme. If I turn those layers off, so it's gone from that yeah. all the way to that. Yeah. And the reason for that is that we deliberately lit this with a harsh light and it wasn't a, a, a high-end makeup job or hair job. I think the yeah. model just did it herself. Yeah. And I wanted to show what could be demonstrated. This is actually part of one of our training uh, courses with using Photoshop. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see the extreme here where we've basically transformed the model's makeup, face, skin, yeah. hair, retouched the whole thing and reshaped the lighting to bring it to that level. Yeah. But that's not my normal level of working. My yeah. normal level of working is to polish it in camera and then finish it off in Photoshop but yeah you can see uh, what a dramatic um, difference Photoshop can make to an image if yeah. you really need to do it that way. Yeah. How important is lighting to you in the work that you do? That's crucial that's everything for me that's what I'm absolutely um, methodical about and obsessed yeah. about yeah. I've always been for me photography has always been about clarity defining the perfect image uh, I, I used to work in large format film 5x4, now I work yeah. with a Hasselblad high-res cameras yeah. and lighting, getting the lighting absolutely perfect is a key part. And nowadays you can really capture so much through that lens, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. The camera resolutions these days are, are huge. You can uh, define the detail to, to incredible levels. But I also mess around with different techniques with my work. It's not yeah. all about just straight imagery. We do some interesting things like this one here. We've got a paint explosion captured in a one fifth. 15,000th of a second, uh, finite detail that the eye would never see normally. And I love that shot, it's very reminiscent of the Creative Cloud logo. Actually. Yes, <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of that going on there. Maybe, that, maybe, that, that, maybe that's where I got my inspiration <laughs> yeah, <maybe>. from. Um, <laughs> so another one, that, another interesting one where we're messing around with light, for example, is this one. Here we used a six foot fluorescent light tube yeah. and during an 11 second exposure, we wrapped it around the model and then flashed the model with lighting as well. So we caught all that in camera Camera, but we did use Photoshop to finish off, enhance the colours, clean up the floor a little bit and the yeah. final polishing, uh, yeah. polishing requirements of the image. Right, it's fantastic. Um, so you do a lot of editorial and fashion photography, uh, what other projects do you work on? Um, mostly advertising. Our, our, main, our main work actually comes from product and still life photography. We shoot yeah. a lot of things from alcohol, um, sunglasses, anyone that manufactures anything that, that's quite boring to look at and they yeah. want to make it look exciting, yeah. we get involved in producing those advertising images that you either see in the uh, shop windows or in magazines uh, and those highly polished images are a result the ones a that grab you, ones that grab you yeah they're, they're very punchy very colorful and they're a result of good lighting and uh, technique uh, this sort of thing here this yeah, one we did for Hilfiger uh, but you're taking a, a fairly boring object and making yeah. it look exciting 
Um, and, but You're making it look essential to you. Aren't yes, you? exactly. <laughs> making it desirable is the words, yes. So, so yeah, that's the, primarily what our job is, is shooting yeah. products, still life photography. And then we cross over a little bit into uh, fashion, commercial fashion type stuff yeah. and personal fashion work yeah. uh, and experimental images as well. And I've seen some